Central with Burt Barron on the new Talk Radio 1450 WCTC, the voice of Central Jersey. From politics to entertainment, from social issues to lifestyles, from newsmakers to pop culture, if it's Jersey, it's on Jersey Central with Burt Barron, 732-545-9282, or toll free at 888-545-9282. 737, back on Jersey Central and the new talk radio WCTC, the voice of Central Jersey, chance to win some movie tickets on the way. Family four packed the Starplex Cinemas at the Brunswick Square Mall. We'll give you the chance to win those coming up. Joining me right now, of course, it's Mark Rossman from Greater Media Newspapers. Every Thursday morning, our feature called Read All About It, where we preview some of the top stories that are in the papers and also online at gmnews.com. Mark, good morning. Welcome back. How are you this morning? I'm fine, Bert. How are you? Good, good. Uh, let's jump right in with a couple stories. Uh, first one in South Amboy. Some brand new uh, rules and laws regarding pet owners. You want to talk about what's going on there? Yes, this is an article that appears in this week's edition of The Suburban, and it's a suggestion for a law that a resident has made and that is now under advisement by the city council. I think it's very timely because during this summer, uh, I think we've heard uh, several instances around the state, if not the nation, of people who have left dogs in cars, you know, in the hot summer months, and this has led to all kinds of uh, situations, some unfortunate where the dogs have died, some situations where people are breaking into cars to try to help the animals. In a related situation, a resident in South Amboy has asked the city council to consider enacting a tethering law, which would, if, if adopted eventually, would set limits on the number of hours in a day and the number of consecutive hours that an animal, specifically dogs is what we're talking about, could be tethered outside. And it, it goes directly uh, to the situation of you just don't want to see animals abused in any type of situation, and, and that's kind of what is now on the table in South Amboy. Well, this is nice for a change. Rather than have some legislation about, you know, keep that barking dog inside, this is designed for the safety and well-being of the animal. That's kind of refreshing. It, it really is, and some other local municipalities, uh, according to this resident, have enacted these types of laws. And, you know, it really uh, it goes to the fact that some people, uh, for whatever reason, they, they may own a pet, and yet they think that they can do whatever they want to it, you know, tether it outside in all kinds of uh, hot and or cold conditions. The city council, what they will try to do and what the uh, – the city attorney will try to do is look in and see what some other communities have done, see if they want to come up with this type of a law. The city council, as described in this article, also wants to hear from pet owners. Unfortunately, you know, it's, it's the bad pet owners. These are not the type of people that generally participate in city government and are going to come out and say, yes, we're the people who are abusing dogs. So generally speaking, it's going to be a city trying to enact the law so that if such a situation comes up, then they will have, uh, you know, let's say the ability to find those individuals who are abusing the animals. Good news. Kudos to South Amboy on that one. And uh, where can we read that story, Mark? Uh, which paper? That is in the Suburban this week. Excellent. Mark Rossman is with us. It's Read All About It here on Jersey Central. We're previewing some of the top stories, and you could always view them online at gmnews.com. Second story, this is pretty cool. There's uh, possibly going to be a world record broken next week in Alpin. Uh, what's going on there? Yes, this is uh, an article that appears in this week's edition of the news transcript, but really applies uh, regionally because it's not often that you have representatives of the Guinness Book of World Records coming to a community to try to possibly authenticate a record attempt. And it's for a really good reason. Two years ago, a young boy in Alapin, uh, his name is Jamesy, and he was uh, diagnosed with Duchenne muscular dystrophy. His parents have formed a foundation because there's so few people on a, on a worldwide basis that have this, that there's just not that much research, uh, you know, that goes into potentially finding a cure. Of course, they're trying to do everything they can to help their son. On August 23rd in Manalapan, at the Manalapan Recreation Center on Route 522, they are going to try to bring together more than 600 people who will all do push-ups at the same time. That is the record that they will be attempting to set under the watchful eye of uh, representatives of the Guinness Book of World Records. And everybody is invited to come out. The current record for that, believe it or not, is 615 people doing push-ups at the same time, at the same location. So 
So they are going to try to break that. It's, of course, a fundraiser for what they call the Jar of Hope, which, again, seeks to raise funds for research into the Duchenne muscular dystrophy. And it, it's just the kind of uh, situation that really, I think, can bring a community together. Sounds attainable. 615? That's not too many people. We, I think that's that sounds like it's it's definitely doable. You know, I've been to the Manalabin Recreation Center many times. I can tell you there's plenty of room there. Anybody that uh, might ever want to think that they would want to be part of a world record attempt, the registration is going to take place about 9 a.m. The event itself, the push-ups will be uh, 10 a.m. There's going to be some former uh, professional sports uh, personalities there. They'll be mingling with the people. And, and really the focus is on uh, this, this little boy. We've written a number of stories about uh, Jamesy in the past couple of months and the efforts that are being made on his behalf. It, it, it's really about bringing people together. Push-ups have kind of been at the center of it because his dad has been going around just trying to get people to do uh, 10 push-ups and to raise money doing that. And now in that same theme, they're trying to get hundreds of people together to set this Guinness uh, world record. Okay, so this is coming up August 23rd at the Manalapin Rec Center on Route 522. Uh, festivities begin at 10. Register at 9.30 and uh, be a part of a record-breaking, history-making event. Sounds good to me. I think it's going to be something uh, that we haven't seen uh, very often around here, and certainly for a good cause. Good stuff, Mark. Thanks for being uh, on uh, Read All About It today, and we'll do this again next Thursday, sir. All right? Look forward to it, Bert, and have a great week. You too. Thank you very much. All right, Mark Rossman, my guest on Jersey 